Alright, uh, let's explore, shall we? It really is hard to talk about this game without at least without comparing it to Zelda at least one time. Because, uh, you know, you can see how it's so obviously like Zelda with the northeast, south, uh, west exits. And moving from frame to frame. And then uh, you also have, like, bombs that you can use to get through obstacles. Not to mention, you can even use bombs to find secret areas sometimes, just like you did in Zelda. But obviously the tone of this game is much different. <laughs> Very nice. Now, we could go to the boss fight right now, but I am going to explore this map a little more. Hopefully we can find a key for that. I've had some of the best luck so far with the Magdalene uh, variation of Isaac. She, she has more life and uh, she has a starting power that after you beat so many different uh, rooms you can... it recharges this ability to um, restore your life so it's pretty useful actually. I think you'd play more defensively with that particular character. Oh good, I got a key. Before I go in here, I'm going to go to that locked door and see if I can get a power-up for my weapon. What's this? Wiggle worm. Interesting. <laughs> it's hard to tell what some of these power-ups do unless you just start using them. So it's kind of having a wiggling effect, obviously, on our arrows. I usually just refer to it as ammo. Roid Rage. So these rooms, when you go into them, it usually has something for you, but then you gotta fight your way out. Oh, I hate these guys. These particular flies that shoot kinda hard. There's a lot of things in this game that I hate, just like really tough enemies that are hard to dodge. I think the trick really is just you really gotta stay moving around. You don't wanna stand still at all. And so speed is pretty important. At first I didn't think being able to go fast was that mattered that much, but um, it turned out I was kinda underestimating how important it is to go fast. Whoops. Excellent set off that bomb. But with my Xbox controller, I do find the controls a little bit hard to manage sometimes. Mostly just... You know, they didn't make the game to be controller enabled, so... If I lean on my uh, controller to the left even just a little bit... Let's see what these pills do. Ah, what the... Oh... Not every power-up is actually beneficial, or it can be, but you gotta know how to use it. I'm trapped. I'm gonna die. Please die. Oh, am I gonna make it? See, if I was the Eve character, when she's down to half a heart, she turns into this, like, big black demon thing. But I have no idea now how I'm going to pass the boss with half a heart left. Depends on the boss, though. So like I said, if I die on this level, like I'll just start recording again once I get to the second level and you won't have to endure me trying to get through the whole thing. I'd like not to die, though. Just yet. A little out of control right now. Like I'm moving so fast. The wooden spoon is nice, but the sensitivity of this analog stick it makes. Uh... <sighs> I don't know why I'm peeing at the doorway. 
There's a lot of things to this game I just don't understand. Hmm. You know, let's go into that store actually because we might have a heart for sale if there's one. Well, that might get us through the map, hopefully. Oh, look, and there's a heart up here, too, that I'll get on my way back, so I think we'll be alright. Excellent. Yeah, why do I keep doing that? Um, this guy isn't too bad if you're able to go fast. If you go slow, then... Kind of runs out of breath here. <laughs> you can see how twisted these bosses are. Well, everything in this game is pretty twisted, but this is just wrong. <laughs> I forget to aim sometimes, too, because, you know, I'm running around with the controller and firing with my mouse. Sound effects are great. Okay, the detached embryo thing's coming after me. Wow, we did it. But if I don't get some better power ups for this guy, he's not gonna make it through this next level. I don't see how. Go in. So now we're on level 3, Isaac's having another bad memory here, and we are in level 1 of the caves, so when we get back we're going to explore this area and try and get some uh, better power-ups for our little guy here. See you all then.